So you might be trying to figure out how you can find a missing Xbox controller. So it's, if it's a missing Xbox Series X or S controller, the first thing I'd recommend doing, you have to remember, there's no like Bluetooth you know, device, there's no AirTag built into these things unless you put an AirTag inside of it. So really the only way to go ahead and basically find a missing Xbox controller is to go ahead and number one, see exactly and try to remember where you put it, look around your particular area. If you can go and kind of look around your area and see exactly, you know, under a couch or under a pillow or something, just double check you haven't misplaced it somewhere there. That's usually the number one way. I'll check under the couch, under the bed, wherever. That's usually the number one way to go and verify whether this controller is actually missing or if you just kind of like misplaced it. Now, another thing that I've done before, which kind of helped me out before one time, was checking to see if I was my, if my controller was paired up with my iPhone or my Android as like a Bluetooth gaming controller and checking my Bluetooth settings. So what I was able to do before was that my, co my controller was still on and I was looking for it, but I was able to make sure that it was in the area that I was in. So it wasn't in like a separate house or a separate area or I left it like somewhere else. By going into my settings of my iPhone, clicking on Bluetooth, and I was able to find my controller right here. Now you can see I don't have this controller synced up anymore, but I did have my Air, my Joy-Cons before, my Nintendo Switch Pro controller and my Joy-Cons. So what I could do is if, I, if my controller was still on by chance, I could tap on the controller if it was in pairing mode or if it was paired up before. And if it said connected on my particular controller, like my iPhone settings, that means I know that my controller was around me. Now, if it says not connected or if you've never done this before, it may not be helpful for you. But that was one way that it did kind of end up helping me was that I was able to see that my controller was still connected to my iPhone. And I was able to see that it was around me and I was able to go and find it that way. I knew it was around me, so I knew it was just misplaced somewhere. So those are just kind of a few different ways to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, tell me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.